guys, Lizzie Lee here for Puzzles Day 14. I, I know, I know, two puzzle videos in a row. Oh, how could you, Liz? No, my hand still hurts, and it's not gone. It's gone from here, and it's going up my arm a little. Like, I don't know if it's because the day before yesterday, I had a customer who spent like a bajillion dollars. Okay, it wasn't a bajillion dollars, but they got like, you know, those baskets or carts, whatever, they're like this high, this wide, and then the, the handle comes up and you can just pull it along. It was filled with paint, and I'm right-handed, so I would pick them up, scan them, pick, and I just, my hand hurts. It hurts so much. Ugh. And, uh, yeah, doing the puzzles probably isn't really helping, but at least it's not as repetitive as stitching is, so we'll see. Um, I'm doing laundry, so if you can hear that. Woo, the washer's going. What? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have any plans for today, so hopefully I'll get more than one puzzle then. Even doing that just hurt my hand. Alright, there is a lot of time for this Would You Rather game. I have, like, an hour-long video. Oh my goodness. And I don't even have the first question prepared. It's still stuck on the one I did last time that I ended with. My bad. Ah ha ha ha. This is beginning so well. If you were lost in space, would you rather run into a full-grown alien from Alien or run into Predator? Uh, your survival is based on your own skill. Who would you prefer to fight? Uh... I think I'd rather run into Predator, because, al yeah, Alien's just, Alien's just gonna kick my butt and kill me, and no, no. <laughs> Sigourney Weaver is amazing as Ripley, but that is not me. <laughs> Would you rather be Nyan Cat or have the ability to make any rage face of your choice? Uh, I'm gonna go with making any rage face of my choice because I absolutely don't want to be Nyan Cat. Like, that video was cute when it first came out, but I watched it for like maybe a minute before I was like, oh, I'm done with this crap. Would you rather always be sweating or always appear shivering cold? Uh, your actual temperature and physical state is unaffected. You will not become dehydrated or hypothermic. I'd rather always be shivering because with the sweating comes all of the sweat and that looks super gross on anybody like I already sweat too much so I don't need to be sweating more would you rather constantly have 40 pound weight have a 40 pound weight on your shoulders or constantly have 10 pound weights on each of your feet I'd rather have the 10, 10 pounds on each of my feet because that's not that much would you rather be a high school or below teacher or be a college professor? That one's actually kind of hard. Like right now, as I am, and for anybody that does not know, I'm only 24 years old. Um, currently, I don't want to have kids. I love children. I love kids. Like anytime somebody brings their baby into the store, I'm always gushing over how adorable they are. And anytime that, you know, the baby starts crying, I, uh, I look at them, I smile, and I'm like, why are you giving your mommy or daddy such a hard time? You're getting pushed around the store. You're living the life. And nine times out of ten, the kid stops crying, and they start giggling. And then the parent looks at me so relieved. Like, I, I know so many people rush like when they get their change to, you know, put it in their purse and grab the bags and everything because they think the cashier is going to get annoyed. I can't speak for any other cashier other than myself, but I don't get annoyed. Like, I get annoyed if somebody comes up there and they haven't pulled their coupon up because you could have done that before, but you couldn't put your change away before. That makes no sense. That's, that's not how reality works. So I'm not going to get angry with you to, for making sure that your money is in a safe place. That's totally fine to me. And so I don't know if they expect, you know, cashiers to also get angry if a child is crying or not. Although I wouldn't even have to be a cashier. Like all the time, anytime I react that way to a kid and the kid cheers up, the parent looks at me relieved. And I don't think it's because I made the kid stop crying. I think it's because they were like, oh my gosh, you know, there is someone out there 
who is not thinking that I'm a horrible parent and doing something wrong. Because you're not. Like, if your baby is crying, that's totally normal. Babies cry. That happens. It's not necessarily because you did something. It's just because the baby's crying, you know? Anyways. <laughs> so, I really like kids. And I don't know if I'd want to be a college professor. Like, because that would be... I, I, I think I would rather be in high school or lower because I would get to know the majority of my students and I, you know, I'd get to know them and uh, the subject wouldn't be as like insanely intensive. I just, I think I'd prefer it more. I like kids. So yeah. Would you rather appear on Oprah or appear on Jerry Springer? Um, Jerry Springer is the one that always ends up in fights, so I'm gonna go with Oprah. Like, I I'd most likely get something, right? Like, you get a free car, you get a free car, everybody gets a free car, or whatever, I don't know. I've never actually watched a single episode of Oprah. I've only seen clips. And then the only time I see Jerry Springer is if I'm, like, in a waiting room, and they put it on, and then I just laugh at the people that are on there. I'm a horrible person, I know, but, like, whew. Would you rather... Skyrim or Modern Warfare 3? I'll go with Skyrim, but honestly, I don't do first person shooters. Or maybe, maybe they're not person, I don't know. I don't play either of them, so I don't care. If you only had one knife, what would you spread first? Would you rather peanut butter first or jelly first? I'm gonna go with peanut butter because I don't actually have jelly, so that would not be a problem for me. One knife, no issue. What? Although I have to say, if I did use peanut butter and jelly, I would put bean, pe the, I would spread the peanut butter on, you know, one slice all on one side, wipe that, the, the rest of the peanut butter on my knife on the, uh, the, the second slice, and then put the jelly wherever the heck I want it from there. Like, it, I don't know if people put, like, double of one or the other, which would make it difficult, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't like jelly, so I just do peanut butter sandwiches. And if you don't believe me, I will be more than happy to eat a peanut butter sandwich <laughs> in front of the, the camera. I already ate a bowl of spaghettios. So I'll do a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Would you rather move away for 10 years from your family with no contact or live with your family for an additional 20 years after you're 18? Uh, my immediately family I really love, so I'm gonna go with, I'd rather live with them an additional 20. I know, like, most people would be like, eh, my god, you're such a child, but, like, I love my family, and I think that's a good thing, because they're my family. Would you rather have a month of intense, non-stop rain, or have a month-long 100-plus degree heat wave? <laughs> I live in the desert, I already get that one, fuck that, I want a month of intense, non-stop rain. Like... It might not be the safest thing to drive in, but I'm not going to be dying of a heat stroke. I'm not going to be having, like, a million sunburns all over my entire body, which is not true. <laughs> the most I, or the, the least I wear is a tank top and shorts. So, would you rather eat red lobster biscuits or eat Olive Garden breadsticks? Olive Garden breadsticks... I don't even want to go to Red Lobster because it has lobster in the title, and I tried a lobster once. The smell almost made me puke. So you can imagine when I put it in my mouth, I immediately spit it out. Like, ugh, it was so nasty. Ugh. <laughs> Would you rather lose your front teeth in a skateboarding accident or break your hands on a bike? You would eventually recover from both. Um... I, how do you recover from, I mean, is this supposed to be like my baby teeth? Because I've already lost my baby teeth. I've never broken any bones, but I've also never had an adult tooth yanked out. Like, I have, what, one wisdom tooth? I'm pretty sure it's only one. Yeah, and it's the top left. So if you're looking at me, it's the top right. Um... And they told me that one's not a problem, so whatever. Like I, I didn't, I wasn't born with any of the other three. My older sister wasn't born with any, so as you can imagine, we got it good. Uh, I just, I, I can't imagine losing my front teeth in a skateboarding accident. 
Like, I have absolutely no problem with people who have missing teeth, you know, and then, like, put fake ones in or anything. Both of my parents have several fake teeth, and if they're embarrassed to admit that, they never have been before, so I don't know. Uh, I have an uncle who has all fake teeth. Uh, one of my best friends has all fake teeth. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. But I just, it, there's one thing between having them pulled out when you're, you know, you, you, you've been, like, high off of medication that keeps it painless, and another from getting them knocked out from a skateboarding accident. But I can't imagine breaking my hands, because this is breaking your hands on a bike. Oh, God, I think I'm going to go with losing my teeth in a skateboarding accident. Oh god. Oh god. That would hurt so bad. <laughs> I just, I, like, I... Oh my gosh. Well, at least, you know, I would never get cavities on my front teeth. <laughs> would you rather be on Guts or be on Legends of the Hidden Temple? I don't know Guts, but I grew up with Legends of the Hidden Temple, and I would absolutely die of, like, just excitement and happiness if I was on Legends of the Hidden Temple. Like, as long as it's the correct one that I'm thinking of, it was like, teams of kids, you know, compete, and at one point they get to uh, three teams of two kids, and if they, you know, a question is asked, and everything has been uh, spoken of previously, so the kids have the answers, it's just a matter of whether they remembered them, uh, so if they can answer it correctly, they'll get to step forward. And then I think, uh, whoever reaches it first gets to go to the hidden temple. And, uh, they have to try and get through it to win. And if they've won something previously, they'll, they'll have, like, a gold medallion. And if one of the, the, I don't know, the bad guys or whatever, it, it catches them. If they give up that medal, they can continue. If they don't have it, they're over. And I just, oh, it was so cool. And the most memorable one for me was, of course, with Greek legends, and it was the story of Icarus. And I just, oh, it was so cool. I love that show. Sorry. <laughs> Would you rather check your email first every morning or check your social networks first every morning? Uh, I tend to check Facebook before I check Yahoo, so I'm going to do that. And the thing is, the majority of people do respond to me more on Facebook than on Yahoo, so that's why I would check it first. You know, like, if there's some emergency, then they most likely contacted me through Facebook, not Yahoo. <laughs> would you rather be a carrot or be a cucumber? You can't be eaten by a person or animal and would live out your vegetable days in peace. I'm not sure if this is a sexual thing or not, but I don't really care for cucumbers, and I love carrots, so apparently I just want to taste good. I don't know. I really, I don't know. Is that a sexual thing? I don't know. That's so weird. Would you rather be in jail for a year or live in complete isolation in the mountains for a year? I think I've answered that one. I'd rather be in complete isolation. Uh-uh. Jail. Jail is not for Lizzie. Mm-mm. Would you rather perform petty thievery for a living or perform grand larceny for a living? Who knows if you will get caught. I'd rather do petty thievery. Like, I don't like stealing at all. Like, the <laughs> I don't like stealing at all. I have stolen one thing in my life. And it, I was in either preschool or kindergarten. I know we were stationed at Colorado. We went to Walmart, and I wanted this small Pocahontas figurine. It, it wasn't even a dollar. It was probably like 50 cents. You know, it was rubbery and all that. But my parents told me no. And I was a little child, and I didn't fully comprehend, you know, like, if it's not paid for, it's stolen, and that's not okay. So I just put it in my pocket, and I took it home. Eventually, my dad came across it, and, uh, yeah. He, yeah, no. I've never stolen anything since. He didn't hit me if anybody's, like, freaking out or anything. Like, I just, I have never stolen since, you know, like... I learned from that experience, and I've never wanted to steal anything, so I can't imagine trying to steal people's cars. Like, I I couldn't. Like, I haven't been able to drive my car for three, four days now. I can't imagine doing that to somebody else by stealing their car. Like, I just, I could not do that. Or grand larceny. Well, that's just bigger stuff, right? It's not necessarily a car. Whatever. It's big stuff. I can't imagine stealing big things from people. Although, I can't even imagine stealing little things. Like, I just... 
I, I'm not in a position where I need to steal to be okay, so I will not. And if I'm ever in a position where I do, I will speak to my family and my friends and I will ask for money. Like, I don't enjoy it, but I would rather ask for money and be given it than steal it. Like, I just, no, no. <sighs> would you rather constantly stumble when walking or constantly stutter when speaking? I do both of these all the time. Like, I mean, it, it says constantly stutter, but I mean, I just stuttered right now at the beginning of that sentence, so I do stutter a little bit. But I'm assuming it means consistently and then constantly stumble. I'm already constantly stumbling. I have bruises all over my legs. I've never fallen. I haven't tripped and I don't even know how long, but I, I bump into things and stumble a lot. So I'd rather be stumbling because although I think there's absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about if you have a stutter, I know some people have a hard time understanding someone with a stutter and you never know who I might stumble into. <laughs> Would you rather work 10 hours a day, four days a week, or work eight hours a day, five days a week. I'd rather just do the eight hours a day, five days a week. I, I don't know, it just, 10 sounds like a lot, and I wouldn't wanna like overwork myself to like a bad point, I don't, excuse me. Unless it was like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I, I have off Thursday, Friday I work. That I could do. I might, that might be cool. Having a day off in the middle of the week is nice. Would you rather have a college slash university name? Oh, I already answered this one. I'd rather have the college named after me than the, the sports stadium. Oh, I'm not signed in. That's why it's repeating questions. I apologize. I thought I had, um, oh no. I don't know my password on this. Oh, autofill password. There we go. <laughs> My bad, sorry. So I'm assuming that it didn't take any of those responses earlier. Ah, sorry, sorry. Okay, would you rather live without your cell phone or live without your iPod? Uh, seeing as my iPod died like over a year ago and I've been fine without it, I'm gonna go with live without my iPod. But uh, I could live without my cell phone too. Would you rather hang out with Pooh Bear or hang out with Baloo from the Jungle Book? Ooh, like Baloo would be super fun, but like Pooh has all the honey. And then there's the potential that I would get to meet Tigger. And I have loved Tigger like ever since I was a baby girl. Would you rather drive a bright red smart car or be spanked by Rosie O'Donnell every morning? You have vanity plates on the smart car that identify you by name. Your spanking is broadcast live daily. Who would ever pick the spanking by Rosie O'Donnell? Like, even if it was like Ryan Gosling, why why would you not choose the free car? Like, what? Why would 27% of people chose the spanking? Are they that against having a red smart car? Like, whatever, whatever, man, free car. <laughs> I wouldn't say no. On a beautiful sunny day, would you rather lie in the grass and read a book or stay inside and watch excellent TV. You guys have seen how pale I am. If you think I would go outside to read, you do not know me. <laughs> like, I mean, it could just say, lie in the grass or stay inside, and I would choose stay inside. Um, I don't necessarily think I'm allergic to grass, but I do get some kind of reaction if I'm, you know, rolling around in the grass or whatever, so no thank you. And then also, my hair is really freaking long. There's a lot of stuff in the dirt. I'd rather not. <laughs> During a rowdy boxing match, would you rather have a section of your ear bitten off or lose your two front teeth? Oh my god, both would be permanent, no false teeth. Then I'll have a section of my ear bitten off. Oh my god, like, I wouldn't be in a boxing match because I don't want to punch people and I don't want people to punch me. If you raced go-karts, would you rather embrace death or become a vegetable? I'd rather embrace death. Um, I have absolutely no problem with other people wanting to stay on a machine and then, you know, take that small chance that they might like wake up again and be healthy or whatever, but 
the the chances once you are brain dead of getting out of that vegetative state are like very minuscule. I wouldn't want to waste all waste all of the resources, and then I wouldn't want people to just come in regularly and like mourn for me, even though I haven't really died because I'm still alive. Just my brain isn't like I just I. I've already told my mom, like, if anything ever happens to me and I'm left in a vegetative state, wait like a month and then take me off of it. Like, unless there is more than a 50% chance that I'm going to wake up, don't. Because that cost is going to be insane and they should not have to pay for the bills of their dead daughter. Like, nobody should have to pay the bills for a dead anything. Like, just no. They're dead. Okay? That sucks. Let them mourn and get over it. And by the get over it, I meant the party trying to make them pay. You don't have to get over your morning immediately. <laughs> I'm not an a-hole, I promise. Would you rather be able to kill anyone by writing their name in a notebook? <laughs> I started reading Death Note right before we moved to Japan, and then it wasn't available. <laughs> or at least not in English, so I, I haven't finished it. I know what happens, but I haven't finished it. Anyways. Or be able to heal anyone of any injury slash illness or revive the dead via a kiss. I'd rather be able to heal. I mm -mm, like, because <clears throat> and then I could revive people via dead, revive the dead via a kiss. You know, like all the stuff that recently happened at that gay club where the guy went over and shot and killed what forty nine people was it? You know, I'd be able I'd be able to go over there and revive all of them. What, what what good would it do me killing somebody after they've done a horrible massacre? Like really? Like, no, I'd rather be able to heal people than hurt people. I just, I don't know. Would you rather be a wizard or be the king of England? I'd rather be a wizard. <laughs> I don't want to be royalty. I don't want to be in a position of that much power. Because I just know I would do something wrong. And, like, no. I get that there are, you know, pieces in place to keep me from doing crazy things. But you, you, don't, you don't know. I don't know. Watch a 24-hour marathon, uh... Okay, would you rather watch a 24-hour hour marathon of Jersey Shore or Sex and the City? Excuse me. You would have an ample amount of monster to keep you awake, and the TV would be the only thing with you besides the monster in a locked room. Well, there's no way in hell I'm going to watch Jersey Shore, so I guess I'm going to watch Sex and the City. Uh, I've actually never seen either. I've only seen, like, little snippets of both, but there's no way... I could watch Jer Jersey Shore without wanting to, like, just choke myself on that monster. Which I wouldn't drink, by the way. Like, I don't drink energy drinks. Ugh. I don't even drink Gatorade, and that's actually kind of good for you, so. Would you rather have your best dream and the worst nightmare come true, or never have any of your dreams come true? What is my worst nightmare? Like, I've had some really really bad worst nightmares. So I'm gonna go with never have any of them come true. Because even, like, the best ones aren't realistic in a way that it's like, oh, I wish for this to happen, you know? So, I, yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> Would you rather sneeze every three minutes or always have the sensation to sneeze and never do? Every three minutes? Ooh. Wow. Um... Like, that's really frequent sneezing. Always have the sensation to sneeze. Like, that's a horrible feeling. I, I guess I'd rather just put up with sneezing every three minutes. Unless between those three minutes I feel like I'm about to sneeze, because then what's the point? I'd rather not sneeze. I just, ugh. I don't like sneezing, and I have allergies. Like, I take Claritin every single morning to help with that. So, I already put up with it enough. Would you rather have $150 in quarters... Or have a hundred dollars in paper money. You can't exchange your quarters for paper money. You have to spend them as quarters. Same goes for paper money. I'd rather have a hundred fifty dollars in quarters, man. Like, you know, I there was a question earlier about um, would I rather uh, only have money in singles or only have money in hundred dollar bills? And then it was like, you know, remember the stigma of paying in dollar bills. And I kid you not, every single customer that has ever given me, like, 15, 25, 30 single dollar bills, they're always incredibly embarrassed. I'm like, no, 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 thank you. Now I don't have to call my manager over to bring me a bunch of ones. And then they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah, and I mean it. I'm not just saying that to make them feel better. 
It's the truth. If you give me a ton of change, that makes me happy because now I don't have to call my manager over to get me a bunch of change. Like, I don't know if I'm just weird or if other cashiers are just a-holes, but like, I like it, okay? I like it. Would you rather spend a day with Justin Bieber or spend a day with Miley Cyrus? I'd rather spend a day with Miley Cyrus. She may be like weird crazy now, but like, I actually like her music. I thought they played, I thought they were playing Justin Bieber the other day, and I was about to like, no. And then I realized it wasn't, and I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> like, I just, uh, no. No. If you had to read only one series for the rest of your life, would you rather read Harry Potter or read Twilight? I read the first Harry Potter book and it did nothing for me, so I'd rather read Twilight. Because at least my mom really likes it, so I'd be able to talk with her more in depth than just the movies. Uh, I like, I get that everybody thinks Stephanie Meyer is a terrible writer, but J.K. Rowling did nothing for me, so whatever. I think somebody's writing it, it's all personal opinion, if you like it or not. Yeah, this author may be really well known, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're a good writer. You know? Or it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad writer if they don't get a lot of publicity. Like, it just, it happens. Would you rather be smart and always be ignored, or be dumb and be dumb but always listened to? I'd rather be smart and always be ignored. I, if people are listening to me because I'm dumb, like that's not good. They might do dumb things because I said something dumb and dumb and they're listening. So, oh look, who's about to blow her nose because she's got allergies? Me. If it'll go to the next page, that'd be great. Would you rather sit on a cold toilet seat or sit? on a warm toilet seat, a warm one, and um, I'm not saying that because like, oh, I know somebody was on this toilet before me. I'm saying that because there are certain Japanese toilets that are preheated, and uh, like, there could have been no one sitting on that toilet seat 20, within the last 24 hours, and it will be warm. And when it's cold, you just stand right back up. It's horrible. So, whatever. You know there are other people using that toilet. Get over it. If you had a mutation of your choice, have an extra, would you rather limb or eyeball? What? This extra limb or extra eye could be wherever you want. Okay, so I either have an extra limb, which I would most likely choose an arm so I could have another hand, or an eyeball, which would be, like, awesome. I don't know, the back of my head. There was an Angel episode where Cordelia had one on the back of her head so she could see, you know, what's ahead of her and what's behind her at the same time. Um, yeah, I think I would go with the eyeball. Like, because if it is on the back of my head or somewhere else, like, it would be much easier to hide than an extra limb. And then, like, I mean, having a third hand would be really nice. <laughs> like, I, I, every trip I've ever had to go to the grocery store... You know, when I bring them home and I've had to make more than one trip, I could probably make it one trip because I'd have a third arm. But having a third eye would be pretty nice. Would you rather have a flying car or have one TBPS internet connection? Uh, <laughs> this is the first comment. With internet speeds that fast, you could download a car. Um, a flying car. Because if I'm the only person in the world with a flying car, I feel like that that could be very bad. Like, like especially in America, where people are allowed to have guns, they would probably shoot at my car. And if they got it in the right spot, it would explode. So I think I'm going to go with a really, really fast internet connection. And then, hey, that should make you guys happy because it would upload my videos way faster than it does. <laughs> Would you rather watch Seinfeld or watch The Simpsons? I would rather watch The Simpsons. I'm pretty sure I already answered that one because Seinfeld is the TV show about nothing or whatever. Would you rather change your religion or change your political party? Excuse me. You would have to vote for everyone in your chosen political party and would have to actively participate in religious customs. Ugh. It, uh... 
you know what? I'll change my religion because right now I actually do believe there's some kind of higher power. I will change my religion to atheism and then I won't have to change anything. Yay! <laughs> like, I don't, I don't pity people that are atheists because they don't believe in some kind of higher power and they don't believe in an afterlife. I don't care. That's their beliefs. It literally has no effect on me and it's none of my business. So that's all I have to say about that. Would you rather have a stomach ache or have a headache? Ooh, I'd rather have a headache because stomach aches just, oh, I am not good with stomach aches at all versus a headache. Like I can lay down and take a nap and I, you know, usually I'm okay. Stomach ache, that, that never happens. Would you rather only drink Starbucks coffee or only drink Dunkin' Donuts, co Dun Dunkin Donuts coffee? Seeing as I don't drink coffee, neither, but I'd rather go with Dunkin' Donuts because pretty sure they're cheaper and then like I could get a delicious donut while I'm there. Would you rather be allergic to babies or be allergic to elderly people? You would sneeze uncontrollably. Well, seeing as I'm all, I've already been through my baby phase and I hopefully will reach an elderly age at some point. I don't want to be allergic to myself. So I'm going to be allergic to babies. Like, and then, you know, when I tell my man, I don't want to have any kids, I can be like, because I'm allergic and I don't want to die because I'll have one growing inside of me for nine months. <laughs> if you were to bet your life savings on a single roulette spin, would you rather bet it all on black or bet it all on red? Uh, first off, I wouldn't do that because I understand the risks with gambling and everything is completely against you. Like, you, if you bet your entire savings, you're an idiot. Like, no. But I guess I'll go with red? I don't know. Like, I, no. If you could kill either character in Harry Potter, would you rather kill Voldemort or kill Harry Potter? I'd rather kill Voldemort. Like, I'm not going to kill the hero of the story. Are you kidding me? I'm going to kill the bad guy. What kind of person do you think I am? <laughs> Would you rather sleep in a tanning bed for a month or sleep in a small suitcase for a month? Both beds are closed when you use them. The tanning bed, of course, would be turned on while you sleep. To sleep in the, in the suitcase, you had to contort your body since it would be too small. The suitcase would be on the ground. Uh, I would rather sleep in the small suitcase for a month. Like, if the tanning bed wasn't on, yeah, I totally would prefer that. But it's on, hell no. Like, I've seen people with fake tans. They usually look terrible. Uh, would you rather be punched in the face with brass knuckles by Mike Tyson or punch a toddler and be seen by thousands of people? Oh my god! None of the victims would die. That's nice! I... Dude, how how would you not die if Mike Tyson punched you in the face with brass knuckles? Are you kidding me? Oh my, I can't, but I don't want to punch a toddler. Oh my God. Ugh. What is wrong with this? Oh my God. Would I rather get punched in the face or would I rather punch a toddler? Wait, what the, what is wrong with you? Ugh. Would you rather be forced to attend school for your entire life or be forced to marry your distant cousin? Pretty sure I already answered this one. I'd rather be forced to attend school for my entire life. I like learning. I like being a student. <sighs> Would you rather have a Ford or have a Chevy? I don't really have a preference, but the Ford right here, the color is blue, so I'm going to go with the blue one. So Ford, but honestly, I don't care. I don't know cars, like, no. Would you rather kill a unicorn in front of thousands of children or kill a beloved dolphin in front of thousands of children? Uh, well, unicorns don't exist, so I'd rather kill something that doesn't exist, because it won't happen, and then I don't have to kill anything. Yay! Like, I don't, what, like, whatever. Some of these questions are weird, man. Would you rather lose both your arms or lose both your legs? No prosthetic limbs will be given after. I'd rather lose my legs, because at least then I can still stitch. And I'm already a lazy bum who doesn't appreciate my legs enough, so... I'm sorry. I love you legs.
but I love my arms more. <laughs> Would you rather have blue skin or have red skin? I am really hoping this isn't a racist question. You know, like red skin as in Native Americans, because, um, F you if that is the case. Unless it literally means like red, like I look like I always have a constant sunburn. I, I think I'd rather have red skin, because at least people wouldn't look at me like I was a disease or something. Because some people do naturally have very red skin. My dad is one of them. His face is very red. So, yeah. I love blue, but I don't want blue skin. Would you rather eat a rancid mixture mixture of rotten egg and old fish or bathe naked in vomit? Wow, that, uh, I'm just going to skip that one and pretend that didn't happen because something is wrong with people. Would you rather meet the Pope or be the Pope? I'd rather meet the Pope. I don't, I don't want to be the Pope. No, thank you. I'm cool. Would you rather have paparazzi follow you around or reveal a different secret about yourself in a weekly newspaper column? These are seasoned paparazzi. That's not much of a chance of, there's not much of a chance of evading them. Published secrets would be more than just, I enjoy fishing. Um, I would hate to have paparazzi following me around, so I'd rather reveal a different secret about myself in a weekly newspaper column. And, well, because, yeah, it says a secret, so I only have to reveal one. Like, whatever. I'll just, <laughs> I don't, like, I don't know. <laughs> Would you rather play dodgeball or play Foursquare? Um, I, I remember watching other kids play Foursquare in elementary and middle school, and it didn't look interesting to me, but I did enjoy dodgeball, so I'd rather play dodgeball. Also, the, the comedy, the dog, the, 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 what is it? An underdog's tale, dodgeball, an underdog's tale? Something like that. It's called dodgeball. It's really funny. Really good movie. Chuck Norris is in it. <laughs> I already answered this question. Miley Cyrus. Next question, please. Go to the next question. Would you rather drool abnormally in public or audibly moan during each conversation you have? <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to go with the audibly moan. Like... Anytime I, like, accidentally spit, even if the person I'm speaking to doesn't notice, I get embarrassed about it, so I can't imagine constantly drooling. If you had to dress one way regularly, would you rather be well-dressed from the waist up and ridic with ridiculous pants and shoes, or be well-dressed from the waist down with ridiculous shirts and hats? I'm gonna go with ridiculous shirts and hats. Like, I am... I just, I, I don't wear hats, so that one won't be an issue for me. And then I don't know what a ridiculous shirt is. <laughs> Would you rather, I am not going to say that one, because both of these have words that I don't want to say, actually. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to breathe underwater? I'd rather be able to fly. Yeah, fly. Would you rather be Napoleon or be Julius Caesar? You would get to be them and rule their kingdoms. Um, hmm. Am I aware of my situation when I am either of them? Like, well, do I know of my future? Because I know for sure Julius Caesar gets down the back by best buddies. Or people he believes to be his best buddies. So... Gosh, I don't remember Napoleon's story as much. Um, I th oh, I guess Julius Caesar, just because he's remembered as being a good ruler versus, I think most people, when they mention Napoleon, they just talk about, like, oh yeah, he was really short. Did you know he was really short without actually knowing if he was totally short or not? Would you rather live in the Star Wars universe or live in the Star Trek universe? I, I don't have a crap ton of knowledge of either, but I'd rather be in Star Trek because overall that one looks to be more peaceful. Like, yeah. I don't want to be in Star Wars because, 
mean, I've seen all the Star Wars movies, and I just, I'd rather not. <laughs> Would you rather open a can of whoop ass on a fool, or pity a fool? I'd rather pity a fool. I don't want to hit anybody. I mean, I like, I like open a can of whoop ass. I like that saying, but I would never actually do it. So, <laughs> when you rack up a new toilet paper roll, would you rather have it facing the wall or have it facing away from the wall? Uh, facing away from the wall. I, like, if I were, if my cat were to go play at it, she would completely unravel it. But, Tessa is a good girl who has never touched my toilet paper. Are oh, you baby girl? Sit in your basket, you so cute. Would you rather be in the army or be in the Marine Corps? Um, hmm. I'm really not sure, because I think I'll go with army. I mean, I've already established that I can't join the military because I have asthma and... It just probably wouldn't work out for me, but... If you were on the Starship Enterprise, would you rather work under Captain Kirk or work under Captain Picard? Uh, Picard, all the way. Patrick Stewart, baby. Yes. Ooh, most people prefer Kirk. They prefer the guy who talks weird. Okay. I like Picard. Love Patrick Stewart. I have already answered that question. Would you rather be albino or be a ginger? I would rather be a ginger. Like, are you kidding me? Redheads are gorgeous. Especially girls with really pale skin. I have really pale skin. And I have a ton of freckles. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> would you rather not be able to taste or not be able to smell? Uh, Someone wrote, smell is 89% of taste, so I'd be set. Yeah, my nose is already plugged up, so I can deal without having a sense of smell. Although I should probably choose taste, and then like I've said before, I would only eat healthy foods, and that can only be good for me. <laughs> would you rather live in the past or live in the future? You would have no knowledge of, the, of the, anything other than the time you lived in. Oh, so if I was blasted to the past, I wouldn't know of this future, and if I was sent to the future, I wouldn't remember this past? I'd rather go to the future. Our, our past is kind of shitty, to be honest. I'd rather not. Rather not touch that. Uh, the zombie horde has just broken into the farmhouse where you... where you six other survivors were hiding. Good grammar, buddy. Would you rather run upstairs and barricade the second floor or sequester yourselves in the cellar? Uh, I'd rather go to the second floor because we can go out the windows if necessary. If you're in the cellar, only way you're getting out is back to the zombies on the first floor. So, no. Rather run upstairs to the second floor. Like, I mean... A zombie could stumble down the stairs. I don't think they're really going to stumble up the stairs. So, unless they're smart enough to understand how to climb, I'd be okay. Would you rather drink only water and alcohol for the rest of your life, or drink anything other than alcohol for the rest of your life? I'd rather drink anything other than alcohol for the rest of my life, because uh, that's already my life. <laughs> like, I, I don't drink. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like how it changes people, I don't like how it affects people, and I don't want the hangover that comes with it afterwards. Like, I don't want to drink so much that I black out like some people. Like, I just know. I don't understand why people drink. Like, if that's your idea of fun, we have different ideas of fun. Uh, that is a weird question. I would rather not. Would you rather kill someone and have nobody know, or not kill someone but have everyone think you did? Either way, you're so screwed. Um, I think I already answered this one. I'd rather not kill somebody, because I don't want to kill somebody. Like, if necessary, like, you know, I imagine they'd be able to prove it in court that I didn't kill them, and then all would be well. <sighs> would you rather live forever or never live? I'd rather live forever. Like, 
there are so many stories and so many movies and TV shows and everything else that I have not experienced that I will never be able to completely experience in my lifetime. So I would rather live forever and get that. Like, I get that I would lose all of my loved ones, but you know what? I would, I would have an eternal, like, I would be able to spend my whole life with them and then I'd be able to meet new people. Like, I've already had to do that every two to four years of my life. Like, move on, make new friends, meet new people. So, I would just continue doing that. Would you rather never be able to leave your native country or never be able to drive? I'd rather stay here in the US than not be able to drive. I, like, I was absolutely terrified of driving when I was younger. Like, I was 17. And my mom forced me to go get my permit, and she forced me to drive the car and, you know, have her teach me. Forced me to do it. I didn't want to. Ever since then, I've never looked back. Like, I do not regret my mom forcing me at all. <laughs> Thank God. Would you rather skip summer or skip winter? The time period you choose simply ceases to exist, and the rest of the year is unaffected. I'd rather skip summer. Sorry. Y'all know how pale I am. Get rid of the hot time. Uh-uh. It's not for lazy. No, no, no. <sighs> Would you rather be attractive and poor or be ugly and rich? Um, I'd rather be ugly and rich. Like, if everybody on YouTube found me that unattractive, I could just not film myself in front of the camera and just video myself cross-stitching all the time like I wouldn't have to have a job I wouldn't have to go out and do all these things because I'd be rich uh, would you rather have a lightsaber or have a helper monkey I'd rather have a lightsaber I don't want a monkey even if it's a, a helper one like, I don't care it's a monkey I'd rather have a lightsaber would you rather use only Windows ME for the rest of your life or use only a 16-inch CRT monitor? I don't know what a CRT monitor is. And nor I don't even... Windows ME. CRT monitors are the big ones that look like old televisions. I'll just go with the big monitor. I don't care how big the monitor is. Like, whatever. I don't have to use an old versions of Windows. Or at least I'm assuming Windows ME is old. Like, why else would they ask? <sighs> I'm yawning again. I'm so sleepy. I've just been talking for half an hour straight on this run. Would you rather have a wardrobe completely of flannel slash plaid or have a wardrobe completely of denim? I'm going to go with the flannel or plaid. Like... The Winchesters in Supernatural have plaid, and then Style Stilinski in Teen Wolf has plaid. So, characters I like have plaid. I can't think of anybody I like that has a ton of denim. <laughs> Would you rather light your hands on fire for a minute, or light your feet on fire for a minute? I'd rather not do either, because I'm not a friggin' idiot, but I'd rather light my feet on fire for a minute. But like I said, I'm not an idiot, so I wouldn't do that. And I'm also not a pyromaniac, so I wouldn't even come close to doing that. Would you, excuse me, if you were forced to eat a certain way, would you rather eat soup for every meal with only your face, or stab your tongue with a fork every time you ate? So... I'm either eating soup with just my face or I'm stabbing my tongue with a fork. Am I stabbing it enough to bleed or just enough to be like, ah, I poke myself? Like, there's no further explanation. <laughs> the first response, is that not the correct way to eat soup? Like, you just lift up the bowl and you drink it. Like, you do it like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, not the Beast. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go with the soup, cause if I'm, I don't want to be stabbing myself in the tongue. Like, ow! I've tasted blood. It's not a good taste. Would you rather kill 100 people or be hunted? Excuse me, be hunted by 100 people. 
If you are hunted, you can kill the people hunting you, but you cannot kill any innocent people. If you want to kill the 100 people, there is a chance one of them could kill you first. What? Either way, I'll be trying to kill 100 people. Might as well murder the unsuspecting. This one right here. Yeah, but it is 100 innocent people or guilty people. I'd prefer killing guilty people. I agree with that. But you cannot kill any innocent people. Oh, wait. So I just have to find people that are, okay, yeah, I'll kill the 100 people. And I'll just, like, go to, like, prisons and just kill them. Like, whatever. Because... <laughs> Like, unless it only lasts for, like, 24 hours, those 100 people are going to continue to follow me forever. No, thank you. Lizzie doesn't want to be hunted. Would you rather Super Smash Brothers or The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors? I absolutely love Zelda, but I've seen game play of Hyrule Warriors, and it just didn't impress me and I absolutely freaking love Super Smash Brothers like oh my god and then I can play Zelda characters and that is awesome so I'm gonna go with Super Smash Brothers Super Smash Brothers uh, I have already answered this question three times now I'm not going to jail I'm gonna be in complete isolation in the mountains for a year would you rather never again play a game on your computer or never again play a console or portable device game? Computer games include all flash games on the internet, etc. I don't really play either anymore, but I think I'd I, 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 I definitely play more video games on a console than I do on a PC. So I will give up games on the computer. The most that is is like The Sims, and I haven't played that in like a really long time so would you rather have to use a completely blank keyboard with absolutely no labeled keys or have to type with only your two index fingers all the time uh, I'd rather have no labels cuz I type over a hundred words per minute and I don't have to be looking at my fingers in order to do so uh, yeah there are certain uh, spots that will be more difficult like the numbers not so easy because I have short fingers uh, ooh what what the heck is this what 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 it crashed what happened I don't know um it, there we go okay yeah I'd rather because I just I can't stand chicken pecking I have to do that on my iPad, and that just, it kills me. I hate doing it. Ugh. Kills me. Oh, this one's 50-50. Huh. Like, I've seen other people type really quickly when they're chicken pecking. You know, only using two fingers, and I just, I can't. Would you rather shrink to one inch or grow to three stories? I'm going to grow to three stories. <laughs> like, heck yeah. <laughs> the first comment, Godzilla? Yes, please. <laughs> Although he's radioactive, so. Ugh. Would you rather enact net neutrality as a law or enact the Stop Online Piracy Act as a law? What's done is done. The new law of your choice cannot be repealed, removed, or altered from the current form. Okay, I know SOPA. I, I'm not... I'm not familiar with net neutrality. Net neutrality is a good thing. The proposed law that never came to fruition would have allowed corporations to remove net neutrality, thus making it so that your net, i.e. your access to the internet, was not neutral, but favored toward the corporate products your internet provider pre preferred to have you see. If you choose SOPA here, you are not only giving the government censorship rights, but also letting corporations choose what you see even more than they already do by controlling TV and radio. Uh, I guess I'll go with net neutrality. Because I, that, from that, that sounded much better than SOPA. And, 
who we all know the shitstorm that went on the internet when Sobo was been t being talked about. Mm -mm. Or if you don't, just be aware, it was a shitstorm. <laughs> Would you rather wear the KK robes for life or tattoo swastikas on both of your cheeks? Tattoos must remain visible and never be removed. Robes must remain visible. You can take them off to shower and clean the robes. I'd rather have the swastikas on my cheeks because um, the there's a I don't know if it's the exact same symbol symbol or if it's flipped, but for the Japanese there's one really similar to the swastika, and it it, it represents peace. So I would just tell everybody it's the Japanese symbol for you know good stuff. Like obviously I would research it a little bit more, <laughs> but I just I like no. Especially with the issues we're having right now, with everything resolving, revolving around Black Lives Matter, I, I, I could never join the KKK. Like, I wouldn't want to be a Nazi either, but at least that crap is, you know, in the past. It, at least as far as I'm aware, it's not still happening. If you were in a horror movie, would you rather be thrown into a snake pit or be thrown into a spider pit? Snakes are poisonous and five feet long. Spiders are six inches in diameter are, and are poisonous. Aren't, like, 95% of snakes venomous? And actually most spiders, too? Because poisonous in, in, implies if I touch them, I am poisoned. Versus venom is they inject me by biting me. I wonder what the comments are. Screw spiders. <laughs> Okay. Spiders are killable, snakes aren't. Um, guys, 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 if you're thrown into a spider pit, you'll crush like half of them. Stand up and squash them, dang it. <laughs> it says they're poisonous, not venomous. Just don't eat the stupid things. Okay, so so it's not a touch thing, it's an in I ingest them. <laughs> like... Okay, here. He said poisonous, not venomous. Poisonous is when you eat something, you die. Uh, Ooh, it is physically impossible for a spider that big to be poisonous enough to affect a human at all. Not to mention, the spiders would probably run from you, whereas snakes would actively attack you. This is pretty true. God, like, I actually like snakes, but I, yeah, I think I would pick the spider pit, because everything they said is pretty true. And I'm definitely not going to eat either of them, so, yeah. Like, I mean, cats adapted their hiss to seem like, like snakes, who are, you know, some of the world's greatest predators, so I'm just saying. And that's the end of Puzzles Day 14. I got seven hours of puzzling done. That sounds so funny, puzzling. Just sounds like I was confused the entire time. <laughs> uh, I was confused when I first started the dragon one, because that was not the one I thought I had grabbed. <laughs> Once I realized it, though, I was like, oh, I've already started to sort it, though, and... I'm just gonna finish it, <laughs> so... That was the one I had wanted to leave for last, but alas, that didn't happen. Uh, I did finish two of those, that was, that was nice. Uh, Tessa... Joined me a lot. Didn't you, baby? Yeah. It's really hot in the house right now, I'm like dying. Ugh. Um... I did Disney trivia yesterday. He, yesterday. So I'm going to be doing Would You Rather today. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it works. Although it'll probably like restart and oh, there was a problem and the web page had to reload. It loves doing that to me. Hey, baby. Do you can hop up here on Izzy lap? The video the while ago, you refused to do it until I was doing the narration so nobody could see that you jumped on me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Psst, psst, psst. Baby girl. 
No. Well, I'm gonna pick you up. Ugh. Yeah. How's that? Do you like helping Izzy do the puzzles? Do you, do you like, are you looking at yourself? Look, Tess, it's you. Oh my gosh, you're so gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> hmm. oh you're purring. Tess, my baby. Hmm. It's okay. There we go. Yeah. You gonna help me sign off? Look at the camera. Say like, subscribe, share, comment. All that jazz. And Lizzie and I will see you in the next video. Is that right? That's pretty crazy, Tess. It's pretty crazy. You hear the dogs barking next door? <coughs> oh no, Tess, what you gonna do? Absolutely nothing, because we're on the second floor and they're not. <laughs> There you go. Oh, you want up on the desk? Okay. Okay, that's cool. You, you're, you're allowed up on the desk. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Oh, my baby. Oh, yoga, yoga, so beautiful. I love you so much. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is like, you told me I was allowed on the desk, and then the next thing you do is pick me up. <sighs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. You know you love your Lizzie. Yes, you do. You love your Lizzie. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Hi. How are you? You doing good? Cold nose. Freddy's got cold nose. Mm. You got cold nose? Yes, you do. I didn't get it that time. Oh, and there she goes. Bye-bye.